Okay guys, so as far as blogging is concerned, your website is your internet real estate. And the better you rank it and the more traffic you get, the more your interstate, your real estate on the internet is worth. So imagine for every person that hits your site each month, your house just got bigger. It has more square footage, right? Um, no matter what you do on any of these options here, as far as um, you know, which, which of these types of income strategies being online you want to do, just remember that you really always need a website. You always want to have a website incorporated into that plan. So what if you only want to do blogging? Well, that's fine. You can do that. Um, blogging is a long-term strategy, and that just means that when you create a new blog and you start, you know, making posts and, and you know, telling the world about whatever it is you want to tell them about, um, if there's nothing for offer on your site for sale, then you're, you're not in business, you're just a blogger, all right? And that's the difference between um, people who want to make money online and people who just want to blog. So I use the terms blogging and website interchangeably because every um, successful website nowadays is essentially on the WordPress platform and it's created and the you know content is generated in a dynamic way and that makes a huge difference as far as search engines and getting rankings. So. If you want to make money blogging, you have to either become an affiliate marketer, which means that on your blog you're going to list affiliate products, right? Or you need to create your own product. Now, most people, when they begin their online income journey, once your blog is set up, once you're getting anywhere between 1,500 to about four to 5,000 visitors a month to your site, you know, you should be building a list at that point. At that point, I think, is when you can begin to branch out and, and begin creating and planning your product. Um, before that, truly, your efforts need to be spent on generating backlinks, getting um, your articles repurposed, trying to get guest blogging posts on other people's websites. That really needs to be your focus because essentially your job as someone with the website is to drive backlinks and traffic and social engagement about your blog because you can build the best blog, best website in the world, but if you have no one visiting it, if you have no offers on it for sale, you're not in business and you're not going to make any money. Um, but as, as I said, it doesn't matter what you do online. You are going to want a blog. Okay, you're going to want a website, and I, that's why I created my brand new, completely free uh, website creation course where I literally walk you step by step by step exactly how to set up your blog. So you don't have to pay someone to do that. The only thing you'll need to pay for is your hosting and your domain, okay, and if you want a theme. But if you're, you know, don't have any money right now and you're just trying to get started, just get the cheapest hosting. I think um, HostGator is in, it's in the blogging course. That's where you can go. Just do step by step by step, guys, and pick one of those. You know, you can get set up for fairly cheap, and there are free themes to help you get started. If you want something more professional, great. Then you can go hire a developer to do it really fast for you. But um, but blogging is your online real estate. You want your blog up. You want your website up. You want it to rank well. You want to be really utilizing keyword research and SEO. But, guys, your blog is your long-term ticket to residual income, all right? Um you know, that's really where it's at. So no matter what else you do, you also want to do that, okay? So if blogging interests you, if you want that to be your main focus, click the link below and I'll give you some a few, there's my son, I'll give you a few pointers um, on what you can do next to get started blogging.